Today we're going to be taking a look at the error data for the Lychee app. In the Play Store, if you search Lychee, L-I-T-C-H-I, it'll come up with this icon. All right, it is $24.99. Um, I think it's worth it. It has some different features that the DJI Go app doesn't have. This icon it's a webcam it looks like red stuff around it whatever so after you pay for it you get it you open it up and in the top left corner you'll see FPV if you click on that you'll see the different modes of flying and at the far right you'll see login whenever you open this for the first time you'll have to register your drone with the app so when you click on register, you put in your email, your password, you put in your password again, you put in your name, you register it, that's done. Very easy, it's not a big complicated process. Uh, make sure you have access to that email that you use and be connected to Wi-Fi when you do it. After your account is made, if you go to the top right and you look at these three little gears, you click on that you have different settings here but if you look at aircraft down here okay look at log flights make sure that's blue that means that's on air data UAV user token no token tap here when you tap on that it'll bring it'll bring this up for you very simple um, if you look at number one you can click on register and that'll take you through everything um, when you click on register it'll open your internet and you create create your account, accept the terms, you register it. You'll verify your email. You'll be logged in. You go to my account. Once you're in my account, you click on the auto upload token and a user token will generate. You go back into your Lychee app, go back into aircraft put it in there you click test and you'll get another email you confirm it and that's good to go on this air data UAV automatic sync make sure that's blue that will make sure that your flight logs are working so that's what you do on your phone as far as the flight logs go after you have that set up you can use another device like a laptop a computer whatever um, to look at your flight logs. And after that's set up on your phone, you're going to open the internet on your laptop or your desktop, whatever kind of computer or anything you're going to be using. In the address bar, you're going to type in app.airdata.com. You'll come to the home page. You're going to click login. You're going to put in the email and the password that you use to create the account on your Lychee app and click login. On the left is going to be all the dates and times of the flights that are logged that have been synced and in the middle it's going to have the stats from all of your flights. So just to look at a few, fastest speed, longest flight time, hottest battery temperature, highest altitude. The numbers next to the description, so highest altitude, you click on that. It's going to bring you to that flight. It's going to have the date, the time, how long you were in the air, all that kind of stuff. And it's going to show you your home point. The blue is everywhere that you went. There's a lot of great features when you're using this. Um, I like using weather. If you click on weather, I like using weather because, for instance, we have wind going in the northeast. So if I'm trying to go as far as I can go, or I'm trying to go as fast as I can go, if I do a flight and I set my heading to 262 degrees, that wind's going to be giving me a tailwind. So I'm going to be able to go longer distances. I'm going to be, going to be able to go faster speeds. This is free, but there are upgrades that will cost you money. You can go to pricing. It'll show you the difference in the plans, how much they cost, um, 
what's offered with the different plans, what's included. So that's it for the basics of the Air Data website. Again, it's not hard to figure out. Now your flight log should sync. You should be able to access it on this website after you're done flying. Um, but if you have any comments or suggestions, leave them. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.